Unless Maru is just chilling outside. Hey Maru, how's it going? This Gans dude is like a super, has superhuman strength or something, man. I wonder if he'd join our defense corps. We have a defense corps. I like how that log's kind of blocking whatever's being done. Genius. That was amazing. Did you see how quickly he wrapped up her wounds? I wonder what his story is. It's a long and edible story. Right, Maru? Wait there. I don't, and don't touch anything. This should take, this shouldn't take long. Okay. Cutscene! Oh, fucking cutscene, oh! Around your neck there. That's a dog tags, right? <clears throat> so you've been in the military before, have you? Bet you're one hell of a soldier. I can tell by the way you carry yourself. And your chubbiness. Do you think you're, you'd be interested in joining our defense corps, Gans? We, didn't have, we hadn't had much time on the battlefield ourselves. We could really use someone with a lot of experience like yourself. Come on, what do you say? No thanks. But why not? Yes, it's true, I was once in the military. But that was n never a regular I was never, uh, never a regular soldier. Ah, I was a mercenary. I've never sworn allegiance to any army or any state. Away from the battlefield, I am free to do as I wish. Nobody giving me a hard time telling me what to do or where to go. Then what were you on the battlefield for? To live. In order to live, you fought? What do you mean? You really want to hear my boring old story? Okay, sure. So you're, so you're a curious one. This is a war, I was a war orphan. Living in the land, wars constantly raged on. The only way to live to see the next day I was, was to be strong and to fight. And then, when I got to a point where I felt I was un, unbeatable, I realized fighting was the only thing I could do. I started taking jobs fighting on and going on living. For enough money, I'd fight just about anyone. So, it's all about the money. It was all about the money, yeah. Until three years ago, that is. I was working on this war continent in Aldea, or some weird name, I can't fucking quite remember it. Uh, I got hurt real bad. That was the first time I ever felt death was near me. It, But it really didn't matter to me. I would have just meant that it would have just meant the end of a miserable life. And when I just got about, when I was just about to let go, this rookie soldier in my squad saved me. Said he had joined up because he wanted to protect his country. He told me something out there. He said, even if you were go, <clears throat> even if you were here fighting alongside us, you deserve to be protected. Or deserve to be protected. Yeah, yeah. Ruin that reader, you dumb shit. Anyways, <laughs> after I quit being a mercenary, I needed to find something I want to protect. And finally, I ended up in, in this here forest. <clears throat> sure, there are monsters here, but it's quiet and peaceful place. All done. You're good to go now. Thank you very much. I'm just gonna walk over to you. Gans. Isn't Nadelia something you want to protect? I'm not from around here. I have no relation to anyone that lives here anyway. This forest is part of Nadelia. I will protect this forest. So you only care about your precious forest? Is okay. Your precious forest is okay? I can't believe how selfish you are. Acting like some. Like nothing in this world except this space around you. Paulette, that's enough. At least Gans lives without bothering anyone else, and he doesn't plan on bothering anyone in the future. That's the way he chooses to live. I know, but... I know it's a shame, but we have to let it go. 
But you know, Gans. Yes, we'll protect you too. We'll fight to protect what's important. I guess we better be leaving. Thanks for all your help. Lilia, you can walk, right? Yeah. Good, let's go. Oh! Is she a teammate? Oh no. She's an invisible ally. I guess she's not a combatant. Hey, Gans, what do you want? I don't want to hear about your past. I don't want to... I'm chubby man. How does someone live in the forest and be so chubby? He must hunt a lot of fucking buffalo or some shit. He's a big motherfucker. What a buffalo doing in the forest? Maybe he eats the Slavians. Ew. It almost seems like half-bred cannibalism. Hey, you know. It's the only way to go. Oh. Encounter. He'll immediately join your cause. Oh, Man, my throat's getting dry. What is it, Lilia? Why are you stopping? I don't think I can go with you, Mr. Karg, sir. I truly appreciate it, but I just can't. If you hide me in this town, Diswold Army will just... Oh, okay. Sorry, I was just gonna make obnoxious pig noises, but text box appeared, so uh, this is this isn't just your problem anymore. The Diswold Army has already invaded this country territory. If you don't have you don't so you don't have to worry about what's going on what's going to happen to us at all. Blah, blah. Wait, why are we coming in here? This is a dead end area. I don't know. You understand what I'm saying? Understand what I'm saying? Oh, dot dot dot. There's a lot of dots in this. Oh, and just call me Karg. You don't have to call me Mr. or Sir or anything, okay? Okay, uh, thanks, Karg. Anyway, let's keep going. We're almost to you, Bell. <sighs> I'm so disappointed, man. If Gans had joined up with us, we'd be unstoppable. A real force to be reckoned with. What a shame. You just don't get it, do you? A person like that just plain hates people. He will never be any help to us anyway. I don't think that's necessarily true, though. Huh? Uh, what do you mean? If he really hated people, with the way that I was hurt and all, he could have just decided to leave me behind and die. But he didn't. He was tender and kind. Attentive to my wounds, helping me just as much as he could. Hmm. I think his heart has just closed, and it's been seen so many and seen so many people die. It's too much to handle. Maybe all he's really looking for is a way to connect with people. Maybe you're right. I like being alone. Things are just easier that way. Even though inside I know people, it's not enough people for me. Okay. And I just want someone to be with. But then I think if, I w <clears throat> if that would happen to me, I would end up all alone again. I think that maybe I shouldn't have gotten close to anyone in the first place, so I wouldn't have to be hurt again. Maru. <gasps> a bird is attacking! It's a bird! It's a plane! It's Superman! Or giant flying scooters! Man, the military pays a hefty price for these things, but they come in handy. <laughs> They're back! What could they want Lilia for? Uh, hey guys, uh, man, I wasn't expecting to see you here. Anyways, I'll uh, hand over the girl. You can just hand her over nice and quiet. You are currently invading an independent country, uh, independent nation. You mohawk wearing motherfuckers, get the fuck out of here. Do you even realize this? Hmm, who cares? If you don't want to get hurt, just leave the girl and get the hell out of here. Park, leave me behind with them. I know it. Never! I won't hand Lydia to you, you scum! 
<laughs> you impotent little brat. Okay guys, time to fucking shoot him down. Come down with bullets. No matter. Get her men. Dispatch everyone but the girl. We need her alive. Oh, sword. The most reliable thing on the battlefield is a sword. Too bad he couldn't level the Gans up. He really needed it. <laughs> Did anyone rank up? Oh, I can get her the sign of silence. Shh, it's the sign of silence. You're not supposed to talk. Okay, and uh, ooh, no new ability here. Oh yeah, no class 4 ability for Karg. Because God hates him. 